Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Fifi's Layering Combos. So today we're gonna talk about Sweet Temptation and things that you can layer with that. I usually have either my eight ounce or 16 ounce in these uh, videos. So I decided today I'd show my little cute two ounce travel size. So that's why this one looks a lot smaller than you're used to seeing in the videos because this is our two ounce container. Um, we also have another color that's two ounces that actually looks even smaller although it's two ounces anyway as always i will have all of our body butter listings that you can get this particular scent in below and let's get into it so sweet temptation is part of one of the original scents that we had when we when i first started the company and Sweet Temptation, the fragrance notes are mango, red Egyptian musk, strawberry, tangerine, and honeysuckle. So it's just a very sweet, fruity fragrance, a, a fruity floral fragrance. So the honeysuckle in there really kind of just rounds it out for me. And at the dry down, I think you will definitely know that you have on a fruity floral, more fruity than floral, definitely. But the scents to me just work well together. So I will, as always, talk about the body mist and the perfumes that I picked out to wear with this scent. Okay, so we'll start with the Bath and Body Works body mist that I picked out. So um, one that was just kind of an obvious pairing as soon as I started wearing the body mist was strawberry pound cake. So strawberry pound cake, Bath and Body Works describes it as the sweet airy treat you love is what it currently has on there. That description changes a little bit, but as I'm looking at the website right now, that's how they describe it. Now strawberry pound cake tends to be there all the time, although it's not necessarily in their quote unquote signature line. So they change the bottle up all the time, but it pretty much always smells the same. And the fragrance notes in there are fresh strawberry, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. Now for me, pairing these two just really brings out the sweetness and sweet temptation, which I love. It's something that I do think you can wear year round. I don't think it's so sweet that it gets clawing in the summertime. So just whenever you wanna smell sweet, like strawberries basically, you know, or a, straw or a fruity floral, then you can pair this. They work really well together. I think it's more of a, a sweet combination where you can still smell them individually, but they work together as opposed to, I don't think one dominates and the other one is kind of what my point is. I think that you can still smell both. And then if you top it off on it with a perfume, then you just smell like a sweet floral. And so uh, they don't compute with each other and they work really well. So that is Strawberry Pound Cake by Bath and Body Works. Now the next body mist, I really enjoy it. There are people that compare this fragrance to Burberry Her. I agree with that, but actually I think that it smells more like the discontinued Burberry Her Intense than it does the original Burberry Her. But either way, I love it. And that is Fall and Bloom. And the way that they describe this on their website is the most beautiful fall bouquet, vibrant, warm, and sweet. The fragrance notes are Juicy Plum, Wild Blooms, and Velvet Moss. Now, although they don't have strawberries listed on here, and I don't smell strawberries in this per se, but it does smell like Burberry Her Intense to me. And I love Burberry Her Intense. And I was lucky enough to get Burberry Her Intense. And if I ever found it somewhere, which is just hard to find, I would buy a backup of Burberry Her Intense. But I love... Burberry Her and Intense, and I plan on getting the Elixir. But back to what we're talking about now, which is Fall and Bloom. Fall and Bloom mixed with Sweet Temptation to me just really brings out the sweet floral aspect of this fragrance. Whereas when the pairing of Strawberry Pound Cake, it's more sweet, which is perfectly fine. But to me, it's more sweet, not sweet floral, where with when mixing it with Fall and Bloom, I think you get the sweet 
floral experience. Um, I think the honeysuckle and sweet temptation mixed with the uh, fall in bloom and the wild blooms, whatever flowers they have in there. I think they just work and it just rounds this out and makes it a very sweet floral. This is something else. This pairing I think you can wear day or night and I also think you can wear it year round. So these are the two Bath and Body Works Body Mist and we will move on to Victoria's Secret. Okay, so for Victoria's Secret, two that I picked are um, ones that are pretty much always at Victoria's Secret. The first one we're gonna talk about, Bronze Coconut. They change this bottle up sometimes, but it tends to be there. The style that they have listed is Warm Tropical, and it says an addicting sun, sun drenched scent, empowering never overpowering with essential oils oils is how they describe it and um this is in the victoria pink line in victoria secrets pink section not just the, the not victoria secret so that's why all of the pink bottles kind of have their own vibe as far as aesthetics and so bronze coconut has notes of toasted coconut creamy sandalwood and dreamy sunbeams and you know as always when I mention um, Victoria's Secrets or Pink, they don't necessarily give you all of the fragrance notes. They have this kind of interesting way of describing things, but it is what it is. I enjoy this combination. I think it works really well. The coconut in here, to me, pairs it really well with the mango and Sweet Temptation. And it does, to me, bring it to like more of a summer type of feel. This particular combination is one that I think works best when it's warmer. And I just like it when it's warmer, but I like bronze coconut when it's warmer. And so for me, pairing these two together when it's warmer out just makes me feel like I'm, you know, ready for vacation. So it's something you can wear day to night. I don't think either for me either way I could wear this to work and then transition it into the night depending upon what uh, perfume I decided to add to it so just a nice simple easy pairing it doesn't really change the nature of either one now this one unlike the Bath and Body Works ones that I talked about earlier I think when you wear these together you just make kind of a nice combination scent you don't necessarily change the nature of sweet temptation but i don't think that you would be able to pick out that i have on bronze coconut so it just really enhances to me sweet temptation so that is uh, bronze coconut by victoria secret pink now the next pink body mist that I have is Warm and Cozy. I love Warm and Cozy. Warm and Cozy to me is an easy pick. Like if I'm like, what am I going to wear with whatever? Most of the time I can add Warm and Cozy to it and I feel like it just works. So Warm and Cozy, the style listed on Pink's website is Warm, <laughs> which I mean the name. Uh, and so it says a scent blend to inspire a cozy and it says a cozy Sunday state of mind comforting addicting warm with notes of soft vanilla toasted coconut and passion fruit and like I said it's just easy I think this just enhances sweet temptation I think when I wear warm and cozy with sweet temptation I don't smell warm and cozy per se but it just enhances. I think the vanilla and the coconut and the passion fruit of Warm and Cozy just enhances the sweet floral nature of Sweet Temptation. So you do lose Warm and Cozy in here in that sense that you're not going to necessarily smell Warm and Cozy. But Warm and Cozy by itself is such a light scent that I think any pairing with it that it just brings a warm and cozy feel to that pairing and you don't necessarily just smell that scent unless you just wear it on its own, which is nice to wear on its own because it's just very light, unassuming. You can wear it to bed, it won't keep you up. If you're sensitive to scents, I think try warm and cozy because it's it's just soft. It's soft, it's nice, you smell good, but it's it's not clawing. It's something you can wear year round. 
And when I pair these two, I feel that same way. It's something that I can wear year round, no matter what the temperature is. So it just works very easy and simple. So those are the two uh, Victoria's Secret Pink Body Mists that I pair with Sweet Temptation. Okay, so now for the perfumes. So we will start with Burberry Her. So this is the original Burberry Her. And on Fragrantica, the main accords are fruity, sweet, woody, musky, powdery. And the fragrance notes for Burberry Her are strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, sour cherry, black currant, mandarin orange, lemon. The middle notes are violet and jasmine, and the base notes are musk, vanilla, cashmere, woody notes, oak moss, amber, and patchouli. So for me, Burberry Her is one of those. If I only could have five fragrances, it would make the top five scents for me, especially intense. So if I had to choose between these two, I would pick Intense, but Intense is um, no longer available and super hard to find. So I would probably pick this one just because I know I can still get it. But anyway, mixing these two together, I think that Sweet Temptation just enhances the strawberryness that is in Burberry Her. And I actually don't have a longevity issue wearing Burberry Her on its own, but when I wear it with Sweet Temptation, it turns from an eight hour kind of lasting time on me to I can smell it the next day on me and my clothes. So again, this is one of those where Burberry Her is a sweet floral and Sweet Temptation is a sweet floral and they just mix really well. I think what happens on my skin when I mix these is that Sweet Temptation enhances Burberry Her. So you will know that I have on Burberry Her and you'll just say, oh, that's nice. You know, is that Burberry Her? But, and you'll know, you'll probably notice like it smells different, but you'll probably think, oh, maybe it's one of the flankers as opposed to that um, it's the body butter that I'm wearing. So smells amazing, not clawing on me at all something I can wear year round and would. I would wear this when it's hot. I would wear it when it's cold. Just a really great combination for me. So next, Valentino Donna Born in Roma. Again, one of my top five fragrances. Love this. From the first time I smelled it, I was like, I gotta get this. And I have gone through um, a smaller sample. This is a one ounce and as soon as I'm close to finish finishing, close to finish finishing, <laughs> as soon as I'm almost done with this, I plan on getting the 3.4 ounce. Because one, I always want this in my collection. And two, I just really love this. Like I said, this is in my, if I can only keep five fragrances, I mean, two of these would be on there. So Valentino Donna, born in Roma. The main accords are woody, vanilla, fruity, soft, spicy, powdery, white floral, floral, musky, green, and fresh. And the funny thing about this perfume is that if someone were to ask me, what does it smell like? I can just say it just smells really good. And the dry down is bourbon vanilla. It smells like a perfume. It's not one of those things that I can pick out. Like Burberry Her, I would say it's strawberry, right? Like I could, I smell that. But this one is just those all of those all the combinations in here just smells like a really good sweet woody floral so the top notes are black currant pink pepper bergamot the middle notes are jasmine jasmine sambac jasmine tea uh, the base notes are vanilla bourbon cashmere and guaca wood now i can say i can tell that the floral is in here and as a person that loves jasmine that's probably why i enjoy it but of all the jasmine fragrances that I have, I would say, even though this is a ton of jasmine and you can smell it, what happens with me and this particularly is when it dries down, what it's what leaves behind is a floral note that you wouldn't necessarily pick out and then that bourbon vanilla, which is fine with me because I really like how that smells. And I think that mixing these two just basically makes me smell like I have a sweet bourbon vanilla combination. 
I don't really get the pink pepper too much in here. And like I said, the jasmine is not necessarily like, oh, that's jasmine. It's, it, you can tell it's a floral, but you probably wouldn't on my skin be able to tell specifically that it's jasmine. And then the combining it with the Sweet Temptation, which has the honeysuckle and then all of those other fruits, I think you just will smell a sweet floral on me. You may or may not know that I have on Valentino, but I think, you know, I've gotten compliments wearing this combination, but it wasn't, oh, you know, is that Valentino Donna? It was, and then when I have told people who have smelled Valentino Donna, they were, you know, they were like, oh yeah, I don't smell that, but you do smell good. So, and that's just on my skin. But again, this is one of those that this combination just works. It is a sweet floral when I wear it together. Uh, and it's also one of those that I can wear all year round, day or night. Simple, quick and easy, um, kind of no fuss. It smells really nice on me, not overpowering. And it probably, I can get a good eight hours easily wearing this combination. So that's Valentino Donna, born in Roma, paired with Sweet Temptation. And the last fragrance we're gonna talk about is Kayali Vanilla 28. Kayali, the main accords are sweet, amber, vanilla, woody, powdery, floral, musky, warm, spicy. And I just, I love Vanilla 28. It is just a really nice vanilla. The top notes are vanilla, orchid, jasmine, the middle notes are brown sugar, tonka bean. The base notes are amber, amber wood, musk, and patchouli. This is a, a scent that I started out with the travel, realized that I loved that, got the one ounce and regretted it in the sense of I wish I had just got the three ounce, but I'm gonna finish this. I'm just starting on this because I just finished my travel and uh, once I finish this, I will be getting the 3.4 ounce bottle. Vanilla 28 is in my top 10. I don't know that it would make my top five if I could only keep five fragrances, but it would definitely be in my top 10 if I could keep 10 fragrances. Like if I had that kind of choice before me. Again, this combination is simple. It's just easy. It works. Sweet Temptation is just user friendly in my opinion. It is a sweet floral that's not too sweet and not too florally. So as long as you like sweet florals, you're gonna like it. And then any um, kind of sweet floral or just sweet perfume or body mist that you mix with it, it's just going to work. Vanilla 28, I mean, Mona says, all of her fragrances are made for layering, but I think Vanilla 28, hands down, you pretty much can add on anything and it's just going to make whatever you add it to better, in my opinion. And so, when you mix Sweet Temptation with this, you just get a more sweet, musky, rich version of Sweet Temptation. I think what happens when you mix these two together is Vanilla 28 kind of um, just meshes in with Sweet Temptation. And so you kind of lose the Vanilla 28 identity per se, but it makes Sweet Temptation smell a lot better. So if, if I were to wear Sweet Temptation alone and you were to encounter me, you know, you'd, hey, Adrian, you smell good. But then when I would wear it with Vanilla 28, you would notice the difference. So without it, you notice the difference, but it I would still smell like Sweet Temptation. I wouldn't smell like Vanilla 28, which is completely fine. Um, it is a vanilla fragrance. And I think that vanilla adds a gourmand sweetness to whatever you lay it, layer it with. And this one is one of the best out there. Um, there are a lot of really good vanillas available. and But this is in my collection and what I've smelled and decided or not decided to buy. This is, you know, like I said, top 10 for me. So those are the three perfumes that uh, I selected for you uh, to get you going as far as ideas on what you can layer with Sweet Temptation. Okay guys, so thanks for watching um, this layering combo with Sweet Temptation. As I always say, these are just to give you an idea of what you can pair with Sweet Temptation to kind of get you going on your journey if you have this body butter or are thinking about getting it, or say you wanna buy this as a gift for someone and you're thinking about kind of a, a all around gift. You could get this, 
uh, get our body butter and then choose, you know, one of the body mists and perfumes. And then, you know, that's a great uh, gift to give a fragrance lover in your life. So who likes fruity floral um, types of scents? So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks again for watching. If there's a scent that you own and you'd like to see, we do have a layering playlist and I am doing my best to go through and do videos on every scent that we have. I do have over 20 uh, body butter scents. So if it's not up now, it is coming. So uh, bear with me there but you can check our layering combos playlist and, and all of the ones that are currently available will already be on there. And just know that the rest of the scents are coming. If there's a scent that's not up and you would like it sooner rather than later, let me know and I'll work on doing that next. If not, I'm just kind of checking them off and doing them and putting them up um, as I kind of get to them. So, you guys have a great rest of your day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.